Hey guys, I'm Kate, Plastic Free Mermaid, and we're here at Unwrapped Conference, put on by Upstream Solutions, and I'm here with Dr. Leo Trasande, Hi. A physician at NYU. Can you give us a little summary about what, what you talked about um, in terms of the impacts on children's health? The evidence around phthalates and other chemicals like bisphenols, which are used in aluminum cans, are to make kids and all of us literally fatter. There are certain plastics to avoid altogether. The numbers three, six, and seven are the ones to avoid across the board. Three are for the phthalates. Six is for styrene, a known carcinogen. And seven are for those bisphenols. So bisphenol A, for example, makes fat cells bigger, disrupts the function of a protein that protects the heart called adiponectin. Mm. And it's a synthetic estrogen and so can have sex-specific effects on body mass. There are studies that have documented that the higher the levels of bisphenols in children's urine and also mom's urines uh, are associated with a higher chance that the child will go on to be obese. There's right, been a okay. lot of attention to BPA-free cans, yep. but the reality is that we're dealing with yep. BPS, BPF, BPP, BPZ, just to name BPAF, a few. BPAF, I mean. Exactly. BPS is as estrogenic and as toxic to embryos. Okay. So we're literally repeating the history of BPA with the BPA free. And is it kind of like if it says BPA free, it probably has some sort of bisphenol? Unfortunately, yes. Also, these chemicals particularly shift how calories in the body are processed. Why does the body do this? It changes how certain genes are expressed without changing the genetic code okay. that are key for Got lipid it. and carbohydrate metabolism. Okay. Uh, just to use another example on how these chemicals literally hack our hormones, these Teflon-like chemicals, chemicals used in all sorts of non-stick packaging uh, called PFASs or forever chemicals. And these chemicals in one study were associated with weight gain among folks who fought to get their diet and physical activity in line and lost weight, and they measured the PFAS levels in their serum, and the higher the PFAS levels, the more they gained that weight back. And then when they looked further, these levels were associated with slowing of the metabolism. What do, how do we avoid these things? We work so hard as pediatricians and healthcare providers to get people to improve their diet, have a healthier mm -hmm. lifestyle. If you change manufacturing practices, or even make some safe and simple steps to limit these exposures, you can have huge impacts, like avoiding microwaving plastic, avoiding machine dishwashing plastic, avoiding nonstick cooking, stainless steel and cast iron okay. don't have those same concerns. Avoiding canned food is mm -hmm. a great way to avoid bisphenol exposure. The call to action here is that we have a ton of power with our pocketbooks, wallets, and purses. Think back to BPA and getting it banned from baby bottles and sippy cups. Right. Weren't there like thousands of studies around bisphenol and BPA? There were some, mm. but the reality was that it wasn't the science that was moving the needle. When the media got on this and the public really got enraged, that really facilitated the change that we all seek. Thanks there you guys. Go. Definitely subscribe to check out more interviews from the Unwrapped conference and have a great day.